and welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Jeff Gork, joined today by Andrew Reiner. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. And Leo Vader. Hey, guys. Hi. That's not a good hey. hero theme pun. Yeah. Come on, Leo. Oh, he's doing stretchy he's in there. He's Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm feeling super. All right. What are we looking at here? Reiner. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 for Nintendo Switch. Mm hmm. Exclusively. Exclusively. And we're in Wakanda. We are. And I'm playing Ghost Rider, yep. Captain Marvel, yep. Doctor Strange, and there he is. Well, come where back. Is he? <laughs> oh, there he is. The uh, Black Panther. And you can see he swept the level of, to prepare for our arrival, which was very nice. Yeah, so this is a heroic cam, so it's a little different than Marvel Ultimate Alliance uh, of old. Oh, <laughs> in that. Uh, it is a little bit more third person than top down or isometric. Uh huh. Um, we are in Wakanda, which looks like a kind of a plain Crash Bandicoot levels right now, but we'll get to mm -hmm. some more interesting things. Mm -hmm. um, and this is, uh, I would say, toward the end of the game. There's Ooh. the third to last level. Spoiler. Okay. But we are, um, yeah. There's there's bad things going on. I don't want to ruin the story, but hey, guys. Thanos wants yeah. the Infinity Stones. What? Yeah. Yeah. So Why? Without, yeah. He's going to do bad stuff with it? Or good stuff? Uh, we Thank don't you. know. Okay. I, I guess, Again, no should spoilers. Should we let him get them and see? Yeah, that's what I would do. That's Only probably. one way to find out. Yeah. Uh, but you could do this four-player co-op, uh, online, local, mm -hmm. or uh, just um, on your TV with it docked. And is the local split screen or kind of stretching the camera to fit both of you? Uh it has a different camera so it will be a set camera perspective that you have to deal not with. not the heroic camera right so one person won't be switching it around and making you sick uh it's more of an isometric view the game does have even with the heroic cam some set cameras that you will get to that are sometimes work sometimes quite annoying mm -hmm. especially if you're playing it in handheld mode your character will be just like a few pixels. Uh, give, that's how small it gets. Hmm. Yeah, uh, and it gets hard to just not only like differentiate who you're playing as. Obviously, you can look at the icon that's yeah. highlighted, but determining range of where they're at, what way they're facing, stuff like that. And you're trying to do these moves very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, that becomes problematic. Yeah. Uh, so there is a benefit to playing it on TV. I did playing co-op experience a number of technical issues on t in the docked version with um, frame rate. Okay. So when characters are going bonkers, mm -hmm. uh, especially in boss fights, and you're doing these extreme attacks, which we'll show in a little bit, that guy's the wrong scale. Um, it, 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 the frame rate gets down to like 10, 15. Uh, it, it really starts to chug. Mm. Yeah. Now, you liked the original Ultima Alliance games, I did. right? I didn't like the second one so much. So no. the first one, which was done by Raven, right. was very good. It was a continuation of X-Men Legends. Mm -hmm. Speaking of X-Men, there's Storm. Uh, and then Vicarious got the second one. It kind of fell apart a little bit. Yep. It wasn't, I don't know, it just, it was, the heart and soul wasn't there. Yeah. Uh, this one is very much in line with that second game. This doesn't look good. I'll just say it. Uh, so Thank I am having candy. some fun playing as Black Panther. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'll switch it up for the sake of you viewers out there. Oh, look at this. So Ghost Rider has this flame breath. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Uh, Dr. Arts. Strange has, well, he just died doing it. But uh, he has uh, basically effectively the same attack. Yeah. So some of it's phoned in. Some characters are very true to who they are and, and what you expect from them power-wise. Mm -hmm. power like Captain Marvel, uh, she is just a tour de force. Mm -hmm. um, but it is very much like, to continue my point, like the second game where it's just the heart and soul just isn't there. Mm -hmm. Level designs are pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, what you're seeing here is very representative of the entire game. Not a lot of destruction. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that the first two games were known for. Throwing cars, all that stuff. You're not doing that at all in this. Mm. And the second even, one... Even just if you're in an office complex mm -hmm. where there's things that like, okay, I should be able to break that, you can't. Yeah. The second one introduced like kind of like team up attacks. Yeah, you that, still... That make an effort to have some kind of synergy between yeah. heroes. Is that in this it one? It is. So if this is... So I have my abilities there. I can do that one on my own. Uh huh. Uh, and then I can. This is. I'm hitting a different button, but it's highlighting the same one. That is a synergy. Okay. So I will perform one here. 
And you can do that with any two heroes? Correct. And so I just need to get it lined up. Here it comes. There we go. So there's a synergy with the two characters. That was um, it? Yep. And then you can also do these extreme attacks and have other characters join in. Mm -hmm. So we're all going to do them. And this is what I was talking about, where the game can really start to chug, depending <laughs> on what's going on. And everyone just did their individual attacks simultaneously. Yeah, it wasn't have, like, you know, like Thor pulls down lightning on Captain America's shield, and then it's like an electric shield for an attack. Correct. Okay. That's so it's just kind of, yeah. But you are getting bumps in, in how you sync them together, right? Um, different stats. Mm -hmm. The characters you bring in get different bumps. Uh, boosts if you're a team, mm -hmm. you know, like the Midnight Suns or um, uh, the Avengers, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, stuff like that. So here's the big problem. There are a ton of characters in this game, which yes. is great. And a lot of cameos, like you just saw Storm come in. Uh, you're going to see different villains popping up, just mm -hmm. other characters that are just here to help you can't even play as, yeah. that you'd want to play as. Uh, but I could show you this right now. So... When you get the new characters, they are leveled to that environment. So someone like, let's say I just got Storm. She mm -hmm. would maybe be level 20 at this point. Okay. Which is great. I could just immediately grab her. What is going on here? Uh, I can immediately grab her and then start playing as her. Mm -hmm. um, but that means the character you swap out no longer gains experience. Okay. And they will quickly fall, up be fall behind in levels. Mm -hmm. So although you have this huge roster... Miss Marvel's only level 10. Mm -hmm. I cannot have her be in this environment. She will get absolutely annihilated. It won't be fun. She's just going to be picking away at the enemies. Yes, you could power level her, maybe one character. Yeah. Uh, but that's not ideal because the bosses are actually pretty tough. And you need to switch between heroes fairly regularly. You don't have to. Uh -huh. But why wouldn't you? Like, there's times where it's like, oh, I want to play Spider-Man right now mm -hmm. or Miles. And it's like, well, no, they're, they're really weak. Well, how just for the sake of seeing him, how is Spider-Man in this? Is he? He's cool. Let's yeah, see. he's done very well. He's gonna die very quickly. We should say. Well, you'll see. Yeah, he's. Um, he's in here. It's loading. Sorry. Okay. I mean, is the game meant to be played linearly, or are there things where they're kind of expecting you to be grinding these characters up? Does he have like a web swing or anything? Can he jump and like if you hold down? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Yeah. So certain characters like can Diamond fly. The last. Um, Ultimate Alliance players. Yep. What? Uh, the writing, not super great. The story, not super great. Uh, so Spidey right now, I only have two abilities for him. But, yeah, he is mm -hmm. what you would expect. All the characters yeah. usually are, except half spider, half man. So yeah. he's almost dead already. Yeah. So does this one have, like, one of the things I really liked about the first one, at least, is it had just a ton of really weird one-off stuff like that. Modoc trivia quiz, and then you had like arcades levels that were like very poorly implemented versions of like breakout. But you could tell they're trying to do something different within that the structure. Is does that have these those elements in here? Uh, there are things that break up the flow of levels. They're kind of puzzly. Mm -hmm. Nothing to the level of like Modoc or anything like okay. that. Um, but yeah, they uh, the variety is not good in this. Mm -hmm. There there'll be like door puzzles you got to solve that are just kind of. Tedious, not really like tough, but just they make you go through the motions, yeah. if that makes sense. Um, one thing I wanted to show you, I, can't, I was at a save point and then I kind of blew it. Oh, sorry. But there are things called infinity trials to answer Leo's question about um, grinding levels and stuff like that. So let's actually quit the game here. No! <laughs> and what I happens? Will, I will show you. Well, yeah, sorry guys. Dang. Uh, but I'll show you here. Um, so these infinity trials, you're going to find, you saw at one point in the level, there was a, um, oh, don't look at that, a <laughs> uh, fracture in time that looked like one of these, yeah. right? Um, that's an infinity trial. I could have clicked that in the level and it will tell you, if you do this, it's going to kick you back to the main menu after you complete it. Okay. You continue your game. It loads back up right where you were. Hmm. right next to that infinity shard. It is a befuddling design decision. Like, I do not understand this at all. But you do these to get these, you see your rewards there. Mm -hmm. uh, I can show you the details. This here is a XP cube. So you just give that to a character you might gain or she might gain one or two levels. Mm -hmm. 
So that's a way to do it. But once you get that here in this trial, that's it. Oh, you can't just grind it. No, it'll it'll gray out. I could show you. Um, you know. So are you just supposed to play earlier levels again with characters? So you can see that one's up? grayed out a little bit. Mm -hmm. No, so you can't do that. So you can't. No, and these are based on levels. So if I wanted to bring my Spider-Man in and start leveling, mm -hmm. just like grinding through stuff, well, this is level 20, so they're just going to get worked. Right. So I have to use my high-level characters, who I don't need to be leveling anymore, in these just to complete them to get the item mm -hmm. to give to the lower level characters. So it's a really clunky system. Mm -hmm. And these things, by the way, these trials are things you've already done in the game. Okay. So the same boss battles, they might have a mm. different twist on a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like you're constantly gaining uh, special powers or it's a, di a higher difficulty level. Right. Um, but it, it, it's just like, they basically just tell you play through stuff you've already done again, either in this or going to chapter select mm -hmm. and going through level two or three again, just to level up characters. Yeah. Um, it's a mess. And it's something I think the Lego games have done really well in that uh, they let you, um, so Cap, oh God, he's not leveled up. This could be a disaster. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize it was a solo thing for him. Yeah. Um, oh God, yeah, this is gonna be bad. But the Lego games just let you play whoever you want, whenever mm -hmm. you want. Whereas in this game, the RPG systems, as much as I love leveling up and all that, that puts a limit on how many characters you can play as, right? right. Like you're basically down to six or whoever, it, the new ones are you're getting mm -hmm. uh and boy let me tell you they're aggressive with the difficulty in this yeah in that they um the second you know they want it to be tough mm -hmm. so the second you stop playing as someone like captain marvel even for one level it's going to be become a bit of a of a hassle trying to finish the oh man that wow. almost killed me um trying to finish that stage yeah uh and then again you find yourself grinding or doing whatever to get back where you need to be even though you just wanted to test out a new character. Mm -hmm. Is the moment to moment of the combat fun? Yeah, I think it's done pretty well. Like, oh, he's dead, but uh, you have evasive moves, which I haven't shown yet, which you can kind of dodge out of the way. It, it really goes level to level, like, and what the, uh, the encounters are like. Like, Wakanda eventually adds snipers, which are wearing purple jumpsuits, which right. are really, yeah. really annoying. They can, like, one hit or two hit, like, Captain Marvel. Uh, so you're constantly like, if you're in the set camera with co-op, it's hard to find them. Okay. Uh, or you're tethered, right? Like where it's like, ah, they're over here. We, we need to get over there. Well, I can't, you're down. Yeah. In the camera, uh, the game won't let me get to them. So we're <laughs> just going to die here. Um, Boy. and we'll go back into, should we show a different level? Yeah. We got to hide this here, Leo. Okay. I can't believe how long that load was for that one little rooftop, by the way, with one enemy type. Mm -hmm. And why they don't have concept art here is beyond me. Every load screen is just the number three in <laughs> space. <laughs> I've just been conditioned to expect that to do a countdown. Yeah, no. So like, no, this is, oh yeah, this is the third one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I guess it's just so you can read the little uh, things here. These are helpful. Oh, I should show off the, uh, the leveling stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Like you're just some basic functionality. Yeah. You change the character. Why not? All right, guys. So right. do you recognize this place? Deadpool's house. All right. Punch mm. that car. Show us what happens. Yeah. Wait. What? All right. <laughs> uh, so you get a lot of characters that you can't play as, that you can just interact with, get a little bit more lore, or you can play as, like Nightcrawler. Mm -hmm. I bet a lot of those characters you can't play as... Now, you pay a little money. A little yeah, money. yeah. There will be DLC coming. Uh, Fantastic Four. Yep. X Men and more of Marvel Knights. Mm -hmm. uh, who do you guys want to see? Well, what do you got? Let's look at the roster here. Who we got? Uh, yeah, Deadpool, I guess. All right. Are you sure? I'll give you a second to change. No, I'm regretting this. How about uh, Miss Marvel? Wise Cracking Warriors. What was that? Big brains. What's going on with those bonuses? Oh, th those are the uh, team bonuses. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, that's... Uh, you can see... Where is it? Yeah, here. You just kind of see who fits into what. Mm. Um, oh, and then you could just press this. And here's all the teams. Oh, okay. So, 
There are just... more characters. I have not unlocked all of them yet. Oh, get wanna... them through trials. Can you show me uh, Iron Man's oh, ultimate? Yes, yes. Sorry, I just hit B. Um, not his ultimate, just his second power. Okay, I want to see it. I was I was goofing on Iron Man. Like he's one of the characters where it's like, okay, he seems right, and then there's one attack where you're like, what is that? Um, how about a little Hulk? Yeah, that sound good. We're probably gonna get worked here. Well, we got two characters that are decent. Anything else you need to know? Oh, let me show you this real quick. So the lab, mm -hmm. this is actually really slick. The Alliance enhancement is kind of your Final Fantasy X sphere grid. Okay, uh, where you are leveling up all these grids with these bonuses that you're getting uh, that are color coded. So like damage is, is purple, mm -hmm. health is red. But this is just a way to give your characters a little bit more of a bump. It's not enough to make a level six character metal in a level 20 mm -hmm. environment. Don't even think for a second that that's possible. Is this for all characters or yes, each individual for character? It's shared with the team. Okay. And then these are the... Um, Infinity shards, basically the ISO. Mm -hmm. uh, you can level these up uh, independently, which is neat. Um, let's see. There we go. Just using your currencies that you're getting as you play through the game. You can't buy anything with microtransactions. Okay. Don't worry about that. Um, and then at as you go through your characters, let's say Deadpool, you level these up. Mm -hmm. Uh, with the AP you're getting and then these little these items you're getting. I have 68 of those from challenges and all that just playing through the game. Mm -hmm. uh, but then you also um, can give them you know these these shards that you're getting right. to get these bumps. And that's these are universal too so they can be applied to everyone. So the past games you would get different gear. right? Yeah. Uh, this is actually a nice workaround. I was worried about that. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it actually um, actually makes sense. So let's get Iron Man. Let's see. Look oh. at him go. Let's see. I think it's this. Nope, that wasn't it. That's actually a good Iron Man attack. Hold on. These guys are kind of fun. So here's the dodges. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also block, which Iron Man wouldn't do, but um, mm -hmm. the dodging helps, and it's yeah. a nice means of mobility. Uh, let's so see. All those X-Men by the front door aren't concerned with what's happening here. Here it is. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's just a weird spin. Uh, and then Deadpool, you wanted to see a little bit of. He's actually uh, a set piece in this level hmm. uh, for some comedic shenanigans, as see, you I, would expect. I liked him in the first game a lot because his uh, he had an attack that was like a big AOE thing that just destroyed every crate that was in a room very easily, and you'd get all the currency there. I noticed there's not a lot of destruction here, aside from that car, and maybe it looks like some benches. Yeah, possibly. like maybe these ferns. Okay, but there's no. Is, do you get anything? Yeah, you're getting coins okay. and stuff. But it's not like you're going through like these walls. You would be destroying, right? Like you would be doing serious damage uh -huh. in the first two. Yeah, at least even cosmetically, there would be damage shown, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but here, it, it, that's not the case. Um, a lot of times the environment will be very bland and sterile with nothing to interact with. Yeah. Here we go. You ready for a cutscene? Yep. Greetings, compatriots. Hmm. So the best part of the game is just the number of characters you're seeing, the cameos, mm -hmm. uh, villains. Like they just shower you with characters from the Marvel Universe. Yeah. But th that's something that they've done in the series from the beginning. So there's nothing right. new there. Well, new reveals for characters, yeah. right? Like you're getting different ones. But, uh, oh, this Your moment is something else. Suggest, I'll just skip ahead here. Collect, keep. Here we go. Oh! oh. Whose ult is that? His. Oh. Oh. Would you guys rather have an Infinity Stone or a Chaos Emerald? Oh, jeez. Uh, probably a Chaos Emerald, because Infinity Stones just tear you apart, right? Yeah. Gosh, if you could use the Reality Stone, though, that'd be pretty fun. Yeah. You'd make a bunch of Chaos Emeralds. You could turn Ben Hansen into a big noodle. 
Would you eat said noodle or like a no. pool a pool noodle? That'd be then? ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> This is a little boss encounter. Yeah. Um, which, again, we're going to be underpowered for, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, where am I? Uh, and it get, it can get chaotic to the point where you lo just lose control of your characters. Um, this all is pretty pretty tame. Yeah. Like, this level's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but there are some boss battles, which are... Hulk is hilarious, by the way. Uh which are very, very, very hard to read. Mm -hmm. And again, some of that falls under that set camera. Yeah. But it just inherent to the genre, there's like kind of a confusion about that once you're fighting a lot of stuff yep. at once. But. And it's not like it's hey! doing anything. Who leveled? Hulk! Oh, thank God. He's smart Hulk now. Yeah. Look at him bounce around. I'm just going to keep doing that. Yeah. See, it's working out pretty nicely. But my reviews on the site, yeah. uh, I'm still going through the game. Uh, well, as you re watch this. Right, uh, I'm with this recording. Uh, we recorded this earlier. But yeah, still going through it, processing things. But overall, a bit disappointing. Mm -hmm. uh, more in line with two than one in terms of just how much I liked it. Yeah. Um, some fun to be had with the characters and playing co-op with friends. But uh, by and large, it, it, it's just... It's got too many problems, and just I wish we could just play whoever we wanted when we wanted. Mm -hmm. Do you wish it was on a higher powered console to maybe have a little more? No, I think it, the Switch does does okay with it. Like, okay. I mean, it, the comic look is here. I think I think it looks okay. Um, but yeah, it's not knocking your socks off like Insomniac Spider Man. That's for sure. Sure. Yeah. Well, thanks, Ryder. You bet. And slash. I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, we'll end it on a big note. <laughs> yeah, Watch exactly. this. Yeah, look at him go. Dun, dun, Hooray! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Jurassic Park? Okay. All yeah. right, we'll take uh, it. You know. <laughs> Thanks anyway, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Ha ha ha. What a fantastic episode of New Gameplay today. Come back every week for fun, informational looks at new releases and early previews of unreleased games. Ha ha ha. Stay subscribed and I guarantee there will be an episode about Cyberpunk 2077 at some point down the line.